Hi, this is Helena Hart from CommitmentConnection.com and in this video I'm going to be talking about what you should never say to a man. I'm going to give you five things that you should never say or topics you should avoid when you're communicating with your man. These are really important and some of them are kind of subtle. Most of them have to do with respect, which is so important. It's a really crucial thing that a man needs to feel in order to want to be with a woman, especially long term. Men really desire respect in relationships to a degree that's hard for us women to even understand. It's as important as their feelings of love and attraction to us, and sometimes even more important, especially in long-term relationships. So hopefully this will be really helpful for you. But before I get started, if this is your first time to our channel, be sure to click the button to subscribe to get all of our videos on how to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is avoid talking about your ex. And this kind of goes both ways. You know, I remember when I was dating, if a man was constantly bringing up an ex or talking about past relationships, it really kind of killed any feelings of attraction or romance that I felt towards him. It kind of made me want to like put him in the friend zone immediately. And men can feel this way as well. They're kind of sensitive about this. And I know sometimes there's special circumstances. Maybe you have kids with your ex, so the subject comes up a lot, or maybe a man's even asking you about your past relationships. And I would say even in those cases, I would just try to be as vague as possible and not give away too many details because for the most part, men don't want to hear about your ex or about your past relationships, especially if they're attracted to you and want to build a relationship with you. So that's the first one. You want to avoid talking about your ex whenever possible. The next one is something kind of specific, but it's really important. If a man is going through something in his life in an area that's really important to him, let's say he's working really hard on his career or on building a business and it's not going all that well, like it's not coming together as quickly as he'd like, you want to avoid saying anything that sounds like, it's okay, maybe you're just not that good at this. I still love you anyway, or maybe something better will come along. Anything that sounds like that will really kind of stomp on his ego because men are pretty sensitive about their careers and their passions most of the time. And they really want to feel like they're with a woman who believes in him and will support him and stand by his side. It's so important. So you really want to make sure you're with a man who you actually do believe in and admire and respect because you can't be faking this. It has to be authentic. So again, if a man is going through something, something isn't coming together for him all that well, especially if it's like career driven or something he's passionate about, you want to avoid suggesting that it might be time to move on to something else. You want to really show him that you support him and believe in him. Very, very important. The next one is something a little different. You want to avoid talking too positively about another man that your man has conveyed that he doesn't like. So let me give you some examples. Let's say your man has issues with his boss or a coworker. You don't wanna say things like, oh, your boss is so funny, or you know, I really like that other person, I like their personality. Even if it's very just you know, benign and subtle, let's say a man you know, doesn't like one of your male friends or feels threatened by him or even feels jealous about one of his own friends, you don't wanna say anything that would imply that you find that person attractive. It's really important. It's kind of subtle, but it'll stomp on a man's ego in a way that's kind of hard to come back from, especially if you're constantly doing that. And that one can be really unintentional, so it's something to be aware of. The next one is kind of the opposite of that. You don't want to talk negatively about someone that your man really likes or that is close to, especially if it's like a family member. You never want to say anything like, oh, your brother's so annoying when he does that, or I hate it when your mom or dad says this, you know, especially family members, men can be really sensitive about that. And even if it's something that he complains about himself, I would really suggest only talking about people that are important to him in a positive way, wherever possible. You know, you don't want to be complaining about someone that's like a really important person in his life. 
So that's uh, number four. And the last one is really subtle. And this one has to do with masculine and feminine energy. What you want to do is avoid constantly telling a man what he should be doing or what he ought to be doing. And I hear this from women a lot. They go into this like mothering mode or even like teaching mode or counselor mode with men. And it's really unattractive. You know, men do not want to romance their mothers, right? So really catch yourself. Anytime you feel this urge to tell a man what he should do, men just do not like to be told what to do at all, especially from the woman they're dating or in a relationship with. It just will kill his feelings of attraction to you faster than just about anything else. So of course, if a man's asking for your advice or opinion, it's absolutely fine to share that with him. But it's when you're constantly unsolicited advice, like giving him unsolicited suggestions or you know telling him what he should do in certain situations, um, over time, a man will feel like you don't respect him and trust him to make good decisions for himself. So that one's really important, very subtle, and you might be surprised how often you catch yourself doing this, even when you're just trying to be nice and helpful. You really want to rein that in. So those are the five things you should never say to a man. I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences with this. And I do want to mention that you don't want to walk on eggshells around a man, you know, or treat him like someone like, oh, like be so worried about stomping on his ego. It's not about walking on eggshells. It's about just catching yourself when you're doing some of these things because over time it can really erode a man's feelings of attraction and connection with us. Because like I mentioned, men really want to feel respected as the masculine energy partner in a relationship. Relationship. So I hope these were helpful for you and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to discover exactly what to say and do to get the man and relationship you've always wanted, click the button on the right side of this video to visit our website and I will talk to you soon.